Hello, I'm FocusWire Editor-in-Chief Mitra Sorrells, and today I am joined by Jeff Wright. He is CEO of Allianz Partners US. Welcome, Jeff. Hi, Mitra. Thanks for having me. Great. So let's start by discussing some of the trends that Allianz Partners saw this summer versus the summer of 22. How can would you say that those compare? Yeah, it's an interesting uh, comparison. I'll, I'll say first that this summer has been um, one of the, the largest um, vacation spending summers on record. Uh, vacationers spent uh, what we are, according to our vacation confidence survey, about the $214 billion. So that's up about wow. 10% year over year, and they're spending more uh, on these vacations. So certainly the the revenge travel that we saw in 22 seems to have run out um, in through 23 in the summer of 23, and that continues. So we're seeing strong demand. I think we're seeing more uh, international trips than we did uh, last year, these bigger, uh, more complex uh, trips. And that's certainly a, a trend that we'll see and watch that if that continues, um, given some of the, the economic questions that um, yeah. have been you know, bubbling for quite some time. I think the other trend that we're seeing there's a concept called paycations, uh, which is a concept that we, we interviewed uh, in our vacation confidence survey. Um, paycations are when people are working remotely, but from very nice locations. Okay. Uh, and this is probably something that has been happening for some time, but we're, not, we're, we're just starting to, to track that. We think that uh, close to a third of people uh, will be taking paycations. I know I've taken a few. Yeah. Um, and particularly younger people, the ages between 18 and 34, are definitely more likely to, to do this where they're taking long weekends, they're working, um, you know, maybe it's a Friday and a Monday, but certainly that's, that's a, a trend that, that we've seen. We'll probably continue to, to see that. I think one difference from last year is while, um, you know, the travel experience isn't perfect, if you've been in an airport recently, you've probably run into um, issues of, of one type or another, but we're not seeing some of the big issues we saw last year. It seems so long ago, but you know, yeah. quarantines were still happening last year. If you think about it, uh, we had a, 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 a baggage disaster uh, in, in Europe. COVID was still a, a big focus. And so we haven't seen a lot of those things but certainly from a travel insurance perspective, the post-departure benefits are still a big part of what the consumer is looking for in, in the product. Yeah, I mean, certainly, I know I've traveled a lot lately and it is it is very crowded still. So um, that all rings very true. Um, so, you know, one of the big topics, of course, that we cover regularly at FocusWire is loyalty. And there's, it's sort of the holy grail, I think, for travel brands, everybody is wanting to, to capture that loyalty from consumers. We've certainly seen a shift in some strategies from that traditional earn and burn to some more kind of holistic lifestyle type strategies. What is the role of travel insurance to drive loyalty, would you say? Yeah, it's a great point. I think certainly loyalty programs are, are focused and a battle for the share of the consumer wallet. I think, you know, most uh, OTAs, agents and suppliers are looking to enhance their their programs and, uh, and making changes to loyalty programs that add benefits and access to all kinds of offers and, and one sort of ecosystem. Um, travel insurance helps brand loyalty a few different ways, uh, particularly by increasing confidence and in purchasing core products of our partners. So whether it's a, a flight um, or booking an African safari or, or you know, a big vacation, really that's adding uh, confidence uh, for consumers and allowing them to make that purchase with confidence and then experience the brand of our of our partners. So that's number one. Um, number two would be uh, we're able to be there at at times when um, when things may have gone sideways, times that matter the most. Um, and it could be 24-7 coverage of our, our assistance um, shop. It could be scheduling a telemedicine consult. It could be triggering an automatic payment for a baggage delay. But we really view ourselves an extension of our partners' brands. And as we talked about, not you know, traveling, things can go can go wrong. And yeah. uh, and and we're there for our partners to make sure that we're, we're stepping up and doing everything we can to make that that brand experience as good as it can get. 
So, uh, you know, along with loyalty, of course, many brands are also trying to create what is commonly called the connected trip, right? Uh, providing that end-to-end value for consumers. How has that impacted your strategy at Allianz Partners? Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, definitely more, more agency technology co- companies and travel supplies are, are innovating with to, to, to get this concept of the connected trip. They're trying to put more and more um, technology and availability for customers to manage their trip. Uh, as the insurer and the system provider, we're doing more and more to embed our solutions for our partners, almost like a, a, a menu uh, of, of particular products or services that we have that we're able to embed in our, our partners' ecosystems. You know, we, we've been embedded in um, our partners' offers for, for years, so this concept of embedded insurance uh, we've been doing for close to a decade, uh, okay. and we're very proud to make that buying decision very easy, and, uh, and we're the market leader in that concept. But frequently now we're having discussions with partners about other offerings that we have globally to help their their own ecosystem, particularly as it um, revolves around convenience and safety and security part of, of the supplier's trip or the agent's trip. You know, we're innovating on telemedicine. We're, we're getting better access to our medical network around the world. Uh, we're looking at mobile device protection, safety and security features like travel alerts and entry requirements for different countries. All of these things we're, we're, we're able to give to partners to embed in their ecosystems to really help with that connected trip concept. But we're, like I said, we're, kind of, we're, we're very much focused on that convenience, safety, and security part of the experience. Yeah, that all makes a lot of sense uh, for sure. So I, I know Allianz, your your parent uh, company, traces its history to 1890, I believe. It's one of the largest insurers in the world. You know, of course, sometimes the, the risk or maybe the criticism of legacy companies is that they may not be as nimble as some of the newer entrants. And certainly technology is moving very fast nowadays. How would you say you're able to keep up with all of that and with with the newer entrants that are coming in? Yeah, I think, first of all, I think it's important to have um, an active fintech um, part of, of the travel insurance industry, a travel industry broadly. I think it's important to have capital investment flowing into the space. I think it drives innovation and drives the industry forward. Um, but, you know, we've, we've been a leader in the market for quite some time, decades, and, and yeah, fintech companies are innovating on, on products. Uh, but a lot of the core concepts we've been delivering for, for quite some time. Um, and we, we pride ourselves on not only being the leader in the space uh, with proven results and, and compliance and everything that comes with being a large global company, but also being a pioneer in innovation. Uh, you know, we service over 70 million customers a year. We've got a in-house assistance services and concierge that has coverage around the world. Um, but at the same time, we're focused on products and solutions that extend customer value and loyalty. It's not just about driving transactions. You know, we're, we're very much focused on, our, we've got a world-class marketing team that making sure we're delivering products that are easy to understand, simple and appropriate for the customer, and not just about, you know, booking that next transaction. And like we talked about before, you know, we, we're, an, we're an extension of our partner's loyalty, so we need to make sure that we're following through on all of these these promises, and that's really important to us. So, you know, to go along with the, the investments in technology and, and the services um, that make our, our, our product easy to access, uh, particularly the, the benefits in the product, make it simple and fast. You know, those are the types of innovation that we're really focused on uh, and moving us forward, whether, like I said, whether it's telemedicine, filing claims on our app, uh, or innovation uh, to that nature. Okay, so as we're getting ready to wrap up here, just a, a final question I would ask, you know, as we talk, you're talking there about innovation, and of course, one of the technologies that everyone is talking about this year is artificial intelligence, and one of the key use cases is in that customer service realm. How does Allianz Partners view the balance of human touch versus self-service versus an AI-assisted service? Yeah, that's a good question. My, my team knows that I'm extremely curious and intrigued by AI. Uh, you know, I, 
play around with it all of the time. I, I go to just about every industry event I can on AI. I think it's a game changer that all yeah. of us will need to learn how to harness the power. Um, you know, and at the same time, it's it's very intriguing and uh, and and innovative, but can be a little bit scary uh, too. But like I said, I think we need to learn how to harness the the power. I think for for us, AI will be an enhancer. It'll allow us to make decisions faster. It'll improve information for our our customers. It'll definitely increase the speed of business. But we need to be careful uh, that we keep the human touch, particularly in many aspects of the business which are complex or require decisions which could be complex and interactions uh, where the impact of those decisions have, have high impact you know, assistant services, uh, things of that nature where y- you need to get it right um, and you need to be specific. You know, that's where the human touch really needs to stay stay in the business. But I'm excited for, you know, what will come. Um, it'll definitely be a part of, of Allianz and, and how we approach um, our customer service. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly an exciting time to watch all of this developing. So wonderful. Well, we are out of time, but Jeff Wright from Allianz Partners, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks, Mitra.